The fish oils, those are very important for inflammation. It turns out one of these molecules activates CERT1, and maybe that's why these are good for health. And that's been shown to help in brain health. This is, this is shown in many different scientific studies. Omega fatty acids, EA and DHA, which you can get in supplement form. They're typically a, a squishy little uh, capsule um, gel. Uh, and so I take a, a gram or so of, of those substances, also combined with some oleic acid, which is an omega-9. These other two are omega-3s. Interestingly, according to Grim Age, we did find that people who used omega-3 supplements of fish oil, they were actually aging more slowly. And we thought this was a nice little insight. Oh, that's you know? interesting, because yes. I take fish oil supplements. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Because what happened is, I want to say six months ago, um, there was um, a publication, really very large scale um, clinical trials uh, looking at fish oil supplementation and they did not observe any benefits. And I said, oh my God, I wasted all these years eating fish oil. But then um, we analyzed really, and there we did see this association that uh, women who took fish oil supplements were aging more slowly according to grim wow. age. You know? yeah. uh, and I'll just add a note to that mm. study you mentioned, the big um, Vital D study, which was a vitamin D and omega-3, did yes. a huge study. Yes. There was no effect on the primary so, outcome, which was yes looking at all combined cardiovascular re related events. Right. However, when you specifically looked at heart, like heart attack versus stroke, there was a strong effect. We know in the United States, our, our average lifespan for a female is around 82 to 83. And for a male, I think it's something, something like four to five years shorter than that um, in the United States. In, in Japan, for example, the average lifespan is about five years the life expectancy is about five years longer than in the United States. And there was a really interesting paper from Bill Harris, Dr. Bill Harris. He did this study looking at the, what's called the omega-3 index, which is a biomarker of both the marine omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, in red blood cells. And the reason he does it in red blood cells is because it's a long-term omega-3 biomarker versus I would say the majority of any type of omega-3 test that you were going to do or ask your doctor, your healthcare, you know, professional to, to run for you, it would be in, pla it would be plasma phospholipids. And, and that's a very short, it's a very, it, it very much reflects your what I ate last night or what I ate two days ago kind of thing. Whereas red blood cells, you're talking about the last 28 days. And so um, it's a much more accurate biomarker of someone's, someone's omega-3 status. So he found that in the United States, the omega people that had an omega-3 index of about 4% um, had the lowest average lifespan versus people in the United States that have had the, uh, their omega-3 index about 8%. They had a five-year increase in life expe expectancy compared to the group with the low, low omega-3 index. And what's interesting is that in Japan, so in, in the United States, the average omega-3 index is about 4%, 5, 5%. So people don't eat enough. They're not getting enough of the omega-3 fatty acids, and particularly the ones from fish. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in Japan, where they eat a lot of seafood, they have an omega-3 index of a, it's the average of around 10, 10%. And again, their life expectancy is, is you know, five years higher than you know, in the United States. So there are obviously factors in our lifestyle that affect um, the way we age, that affect disease risk, and certainly uh, health span, you know, really is talking about extending the youthful part of your life, keeping you disease free when you're older, not necessarily making you live, you know, longer, just improving the quality of your life because you're not going to get Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's disease or have type 2 diabetes earlier in your life, which really decreases the quality of your life. I think the, quali the quality of your life can, uh, there's just no doubt, there's no doubt that that lifestyle plays a huge role in that. Fish oil, I'm big on fish oil for all the health benefits. Um, and I've been doing this for 30 plus years. Set of actions that we can take in order to limit inflammation. And this has been shown in several quality peer reviewed studies now to reduce inflammation and to relieve some, and in some cases, all of the symptoms of major depression. One of those approaches is to increase our intake of so-called EPAs or essential fatty acids. 
There's now a very long list of papers in quality peer-reviewed journals showing that when people ingest a certain level of EPA omega-3 fatty acids, the relief from depressive symptoms matches the SSRIs. That's incredible, right? That essential fatty acids could relieve symptoms of depression as well as some of the prescription antidepressants. 